Hey, basketball coaches and basketball players, today we're going to talk about Kawhi Leonard and how he plays defense and how you can play defense just like him. Let's get down to the video footage and we can break down how Kawhi Leonard plays defense. Okay, so what we have here is back when Kawhi Leonard was playing for the San Antonio Spurs. We have him going up against James Harden. And what he was doing here was playing extreme help defense. He was playing quite a few passes off and steps away from this player. Now, he has to come and recover when James Harden passes him the ball. So what, I'm going to play it through quickly, we're going to see what the video looks like, how Kawhi Leonard played, and then I'm going to break it down. Okay, so here we have Kawhi Leonard. He is recovering towards the ball. What's the first thing that he doesn't do? He doesn't go and jump, and he also notices that this player is not going to shoot, but instead he's going to be driving left, which is a smart move on the offensive side because this player is moving in this direction, and to be able to change directions quickly, this player here is making a great decision because, of course, Kawhi Leonard is moving in that direction. Now, what Kawhi Leonard does is he plants that inside foot in the the foot on the side that this player is going towards. What that's going to do is make an abrupt quick stop and now he's essentially totally like stopped his momentum in that direction. He has also tilted his body back towards the direction where he needs to go. Meanwhile being on both toes as we can see here. Now we're going to be moving forward now what Kawhi Leonard needs to do is take a one quick step towards that player. You could lead with this leg, however, if you're able to master the ability to take that far foot and go ahead, which will be a bit quicker, but there is one difference as to what, or one thing that a lot of players make a mistake on. They bring that foot way too far forward, in which case this player could then change directions back, which is what you're going to see. And because of being able to not go way too far past, and technically speaking, these feet haven't really crossed because they are both in the direction of that player. If that foot went any farther forward, that would have been meaning that those feet were crossed, and you really don't want to cross your feet on defense because that's how you get your ankles broken. So he's going to now take that quick step. Now, both of these feet are not crossed. Now, this player notices that he almost crossed his feet, so he's going to cr try and cross back to try and break Kawhi Leonard. This is a simple move that you can use on the offensive side, of course, if you're not playing against a great defender like Kawhi Leonard. Now, Kawhi Leonard, then, instead of crossing his feet again, he brings that foot off the ground so that now it can swing out and this foot can swing back. This is all great defensive footwork that you can emulate if you want to play defense like Kawhi Leonard. Because he's able to do this, he swings that foot around. Now, his body is facing this way, but he just needs to drop that foot. Again, a lot of players will turn this way and this is how you get your ankles broken. So Kawhi Leonard just drops that foot. Now he is still in line with that defender. That defender still has not beaten Kawhi Leonard. He takes one dribble and he wants to go one, two, one, and then that foot's going to come forward and two. And he thinks that's going to beat him. But what we have here is Kawhi Leonard still not crossing his feet and still in line with that player. Kawhi Leonard now is able to recover, still has not crossed his feet. And even here, when he's straight up, he still hasn't crossed his feet. And because of that, it's going to allow him to go straight up, and with his extra long hands and, and arms, he's going to be able to block that shot. But even if he didn't have that extra length, he would still be able to contest that shot. And look at how in control Kawhi Leonard is, straight up. This is what you want when you're playing defense. You want to go straight up, 
You want you to be in control the whole time, which is by not crossing your feet. And now look how uncontrolled that offensive player is. He's trying to reach back so that he doesn't get blocked. Which is what happens. He gets blocked. By playing defense without crossing your feet like Kawhi Leonard, you can also make plays like this. So here's another example. This is Kawhi Leonard when he's still on the Spurs guarding against Steph Curry. Now, they're not in a full court press. However, Kawhi Leonard is giving him a bit of shade so that Steph Curry isn't having all that much fun. So, now, if you're returning back on defense and you've got a player who's starting to put pressure on you, just like Steph Curry is with Kawhi Leonard, what you need to do is exactly what Kawhi Leonard does here. So Kawhi Leonard notices, hey, this guy's going to be putting some pressure on me. I better start defending him. This is when he notices, oh, I need to defend this. Now, what he does next, he takes that step. His next step is now swinging his body around and planting that foot, all staying on his toes. His next step is now turning. And watch what he does here. This is a masterful move. Instead of just turning and letting this foot stay planted, he has now created space underneath that foot, which means that he is turning in this direction, but by taking this foot off the ground, it's allowing him to either turn in that direction and continue through, or have the ability to change directions as Steph Curry now notices as soon as Kawhi Leonard made that turn, he decided, and look where he's looking. You need to look right there on the defenders. You notice that he is now trying to square you up, and he's going to try and start moving in that direction because that's where you are moving offensively. Now, Steph Curry is a really smart player. He changes directions. Now, he changes directions. Look. Look, what, look at that Kawhi Leonard footwork. He plants that trailing foot that he had in the air. He plants it first because now, because he's in the air with both feet, he's able to notice that, Co or that Steph Curry is now looking to change directions. He's able to now plant that foot now, plant this foot back, and turn. He now has Co uh, Steph Curry 100% squared up and that's what we're looking for as coaches and as players he has squared up his defender his defender does not have anywhere to go and because of this he is now moving forward Steph Curry really doesn't have anywhere to go because we now have Kawhi Leonard one of the better defenders in the league pairing up Steph Curry Steph Curry has a screen coming over here but he also has two other defenders who are playing up top. So if he does use that screen, he's just going to be getting another defender on him. San Antonio has always been a great defensive team. What he really wants to do is fake using that screen and come back the other way and go up the sideline. The reason why is because even though he uses that screen, he still has two defenders possibly guarding him. So he notices that he wants to take the sideline. I don't blame him. I would too. Now, this comes down to now Kawhi Leonard noticing, hey, Steph Curry is, is paying attention to other things that he should be paying attention to, but with my extra length and my extra reach, and by squaring him up, it's not going to be called a foul, I'm able to reach in, and he gets that ball. Might have got a little bit of his hand, but got that ball. Now, Kawhi Leonard is in essentially control of the ball, and even though he hasn't touched it yet, he is now in control. He is now able to turn the other direction, catch Steph Curry, now unable to defend him because of his explosiveness. As we can see here, as soon as he got that ball, he planted that back foot. He knew that he was going to grab that ball, planted that next foot, and look, all those trainers online who really don't know what they're talking about always saying that it's okay to go back down on your heel. Do you think Kawhi Leonard would be able to explode if he if his heel was on the ground? Look, he's on his toes. You are much quicker on your toes. 
Now he's able to go in the opposite direction and get a nice open dunk. Okay, so now in this next play, what we're going to be watching is Kawhi Leonard again, obviously. But notice, this he sees that this player is setting a pin down screen for this guy over here. So what Kawhi Leonard does not want is that pin down screen to come. This player to get a nice open shot from the mid-range or maybe a three-point shot. Kawhi Leonard wants to cut that off. Now, some coaches will say, okay, run underneath the screen. You could, but now if you run underneath that screen, so this screen comes and you run underneath, this offensive player is going to fake up and then trail off into that far corner over there. That's going to be a lob pass over and well, that's going to be a three-point shot, and you've now just created about 15 feet of separation from you and your def your player that you're supposed to be defending. What you need to do is fight through this screen. And now we're going to see Kawhi Leonard able to fight through this screen. Number one, yes, he is holding on just a bit. He has that, that lead arm. He's going to try and get that lead arm between his player and that screening player. He's going to get his arm in between, and he has. He has gotten through. If he can get that lead arm through, he's going to be able to fight through quite easily, which is what we see here. Now, what this player offensively made a mistake on is he thinks that it's a good idea to maybe catch that ball here, spin off of Kawhi Leonard, and maybe have a shot over here. I don't blame him, but that pass is not coming to the right spot. If he really wanted to spin off, that pass needs to be up and over away from Kawhi Leonard. So this player has made a mistake because he doesn't understand what this player is wanting to do. This player is now not completely going towards that ball, and that's how you can stop what Kawhi Leonard is about to do from happening. But by this player not coming towards the ball and starting to already lean off and away, that allows Kawhi Leonard, because he fought through the screen, to be able to now cut off that pass. And because of his quickness, if you're quick like Kawhi Leonard, and you're able to play defense on your toes, you can take a little bit more of a risk by trying to cut off that pass. Which is what he's able to do here. And because of that, he's able to go in for an open dunk. Okay, so here we're going to be talking about some help defense that Kawhi Leonard plays. So here's Kawhi Leonard if you're wondering where he is on the court. We have a, a little pin down, or not a pin down, I mean a dribble handoff right here. What's going to happen is this player is going to come off of that dribble handoff, and now this player is going to roll towards the basket. Now Kawhi Leonard, he's quick, so he doesn't have to be necessarily right on that block. I want my players to be right on that block for help defense, but he doesn't have to. He's quite quick. Now, this player is going to pass over. Look at that open lane that that rolling player has. And this guy's smart. He's able to get the ball to him. But let's watch Kawhi Leonard on how he's able to play help defense. So we have Kawhi Leonard. He is now going to be stepping down. But... When you're playing help defense and you're caught, he's now square with that player. And what he wants to do is take a quick hop right in front. So by the time that ball gets into that player's hands, he's able to should be able to hop right in front of that player. Which is what we're going to see right there. He hops. Now, there's two reasons why you want to hop into this. Number one. By hopping in, it's a lot quicker than taking a step. Number two, you're able to move farther with a hop than you can with a step. And number three, by landing with a hop, you're able to land on your toes, which we see here. And now, he's able to, anytime that you land on your toes, you're able to jump again quite quickly. That goes for anybody, even bigger, heavier people like myself. If you take a quick hop and land on your toes, you're able to hop quite quickly again. And because of that, Kawhi Leonard's able to make that block. This other guy comes in as well. They got a double block here. Not going to cry about it. Two blocks is always better than one. And again, we now have a blocked shot, a missed dunk, whatever you want to call it. That defense worked. So really quickly, how did this work? Kawhi Leonard was able to take that hop 
able to launch again off of landing on his toes and he was able to get that block. Let's watch this. Okay, so here what we're going to be watching is we've got Kawhi Leonard right here. These This team's coming down three on two. And this is actually a really good set. We have our ball handler. We have these two players who are coming down. They're going to be cutting down from the free throw line extended. And this ball handler is going to be stopping roughly around that free throw line to pass off to one of those two players. Now, this player, he does come in underneath, which is good. But we're watching Kawhi Leonard, which is right here. He notices right away, right there, he notices, hey, this is a three on two. This player is essentially guarded this guy. I only need to worry about those two players. He knows that right now. So because of that, he's able to now watch him hop. He hops. He always hops. And this is what makes him good. His footwork is great. He hops, tries to cut off that passing lane. He has his hand down there. He's long enough to try to get it. But he's able to now turn and get that block. However, let's watch this in slow motion really quickly, and then we're going to take a closer up glance. So this is our closer up glance. Now, as we can see, he's not going to be crossing his feet at all. When he turns, he turns, he drops that foot back, and now he's able to hop. Look at that hop. So many players just take their steps. He hops. And I've learned this myself as a bigger defender. If I can hop when I'm shuffling, especially if I'm trying to get to a player quicker like this, I'm going to be much quicker. Now, because he hops into it, and look, he doesn't really plant his heels all that much. He planted it for a second, millisecond. But that foot's not planted. It's only on his toes. He's able to get back off and get that block. That is a perfect block. Now it helps when his hands are massive, he can, he can just grab it out of other players' hands, but a, an absolute fantastic block. And it all came from that footwork dropping down without crossing his legs and now hopping into that last step and get that block. He doesn't have to get in front. He can reach over top and get that ball, and he's got it. Now, let's watch one more highlight and check out Kawhi Leonard's footwork. He's got now, he's guarding Gordon. This is now when the Kawhi Leonard is playing on the Raptors. And watch, his feet never cross. He is shuffling. He crosses his feet there once. However, he's able to recover and still stay on his toes and stay square to that player. So if you need to cross your feet, you need to make sure that you're still square to your player. Now by staying square with his player, and watch, he's taking that hop again. He knows, hey, this guy's on his last step. He can't go any farther or else it's a travel. So how am I going to make this a tough shot? And that's by hopping into his last step. This guy is already going up for that basket. Kawhi Leonard's still on that ground. But he's taken a hop into his last step. He's able to recover faster because he landed on his toes. He stayed on his toes. He did a quick hop into it so that he has more explosiveness going up. This is how I'm still able to get two or three blocks in a three-on-three -three game at the YMCA because I do moves like this. And he gets that block. Now I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe. There should be a subscribe button over here and maybe even a next video here.